I'm a preacher's kid and, and that comes with humble beginnings as far as money is concerned. I come from a family that had to be put together. Um, if you headed out of the house to go to church without your vest, you were going to get called on that. <laughs> My mother and father both were uh, on the farm and so I'm the first generation off. And so I try to bring products to market that, um, that make a man look like a man, make him look handsome. Simple, honest, handsome clothing for men. We make it local. We try our hard to consider not only what we make, but how we bring it to market. Consider their environmental footprint. I actually bring most of the products down on the train as opposed to getting into a car. Currently, we're really only made in this uh, one factory, but man, I'm the kind of guy that really loves the factory. I grew up in rural Ohio in a little town called uh, Troy. It's just uh, north of Dayton. It's a, it's a small manufacturing town. We made cars, we made picture tubes for Panasonic. We make stuff, things that, that are done the old way, done with quality, manufactured in the United States, and, and I think it's great. I think it's something that our country as a whole uh, is missing. I'm in the Lower East Side. This is the heart of men's tailoring from the turn of the century. I don't have to go call away to China or call away to wherever to get the stuff. This place is awesome. This dude right here is my dude, man. I love this place. I, I admire these uh, people for their workmanship and their craftsmanship and what they do every day so much that I kind of feel a little low uh, around them. I grew up playing football, baseball, riding motorcycles. I attack this like a sport, like I want to win. You know, there's a couple of pennies to be made by shipping it elsewhere, so, certainly. But, you know, if that's your bottom line, if the, if the penny is the bottom line of every business, Where's the heart? Where's the soul? Where's the community? And I, I, I opt for that rather than those couple extra pennies. Uh, I guess it's my calling, as my father would say. If you ever happen to catch me in a train with a big giant bag, <laughs> it's probably not cookie dough inside of there. And I don't mind looking like a vagabond for, for doing what's right. Yeah.